Okay, folks. Um, I'm just going to do a tool situation update. Some of my videos, I'm showing what I got new and then what I got to everything and situated. I don't know. I, I've done some changes since then and kind of give an update of where I stand. Give a little tour of my garage. This is a uh, three car garage. Um, this side is automatic with the garage door opener. That side is actually pointless of this side right here. Um, it's not, I, I don't even use this side over here. I mean, as you can see, it's kids' bicycles over there, refrigerators there, um, lawnmower and motorcycle and stuff that I'm actually in the process of working on. A little table that I got dumb stuff on and side door that never gets used. Um, it's pointless how the driveway goes out. There's literally no room out through there to, to do anything. Actually, my filter on my furnace. Yes, I have a heater in my garage, but it's the filter thing is kind of cheaply made. So I'm going to fix that. I bought this house that I had it in here. Um, yeah, so I've got a brand new window for my daughter's room that individually needs installed. Garden hose hanging up there just on a hose rack. American flag for the for the police officers. Um, my garage has its separate electric running to it, so that's the breaker for the garage. And I have a lot of plug outlets in here. Um, there's one there, one there. Two side by side, one there, two side by side. I put the sixth thing on. There's one back here behind the ladder, one there. There's also one behind the refrigerator for the refrigerator to be plugged in. And that's it on the wall. I also have all these lights are plugged into outlets. More bays where wires are ran, just capped off where I could put more if I needed to. Outlets on the ceiling. Once again, more stuff where I can run. That's how these lights are and they work. And then some of them that are not working is because they're wired in, but they're all pull string. And I have them set up to where I can flip the light switch on and it allows to have power through there plus I got attic space this is a this is a garage that guys would want this is a this is a man's garage it's heated it's cooled I got central air that runs to it that's what all these lines coming in they run from a central air unit and run up through to the over here so you got all your central air units that come in run through here into that so everything comes out of that and I got my heat, my adapter or furnace that runs the access smoke goes out straight outside. Gas line coming in into the furnace. All good to go. I don't run it that much because I don't really hang out here. Spare drywall, spare wood. Uh, this is, I just. I can't justify throwing away because I actually, in the winter time, I cut a piece off of that and put them on my central air unit, to keep the snow and ice from falling inside. Creeper that don't get used much. Spare tarp, there's a truck chain down in there. Spare wood, you never know. Old level. Um, spare light bulb and another unit for that. Trash can, the trash, scrap little pieces of wood just in case I need to block something up or shim something. Got some spare paint, my sprayer down in there. Odds and ends, paint stuff. All the stuff I need, the uh, new oil that I got ready, bought, ready to go for the spring when I'm changing the oil on my bike. Um, just torches, batteries for my uh, works weed eater. Big bulk bag of zip ties up here old headlight off my bike. I'm keeping it just in case the new one tends to not last as long. Um, the seat off the motorcycle needs clean. The battery's out. I bought a uh, Arbor Freight float charger. 
just in case I need to put a charge on it. Um, I tested it, it doesn't, and I bought LEDs from a bike, so I hooked this up and tested them to make sure the LEDs work, and it was still charged on my battery, so I might not. Because I pulled it out and I didn't set it on the concrete, it may not be draining. Um, bike parts off my front windshield because I bought some uh, window tint to give it a uh, tint to go with my foggy lid. Um, plus my workbench with a vise that's mounted. Um, a little, another little vise that I'm going to clean up and uh, probably mount it on this. So I have a little one and a big one. Junk down here, just a um, little tool lamp, uh, spare spare ends for gutter, gas tank, some extension cords and oil drain things. These are just tote storages. Got a odds and ends in, jack stands. Step stool, I use to set on sometimes. I like to get an actual roll stool, but I use that to set on when I'm working on bike. This right here is my my baby. I just got done doing uh, some painting on it, and I tried to do a candy paint. I used it, uh, the Metal Cast by, uh, I think it's a Duplicolor Metal Cast. Let me tell you what, that turns out beautiful, and it gives it like a hard candy red. And I bought the 2K clear clear coat, um, Rust-Oleum Automotive Gray Primer. But the uh, the Metal Cast is a very thin paint, and it's it's got a few runs in it. And because it's a transparent paint, you have shady spots when you overlap. When you paint, you have to overlap so much you'll have spots where you overlap and it will show up. So it's definitely something to take into consideration if you choose to use this, but it is a very beautiful color. So I'm, it's, you know, it's chrome, it's, that's the red it's gonna be. I switched to LED, so I got LED turning signals, front LED headlight now. Um, it's like a Daymaker style, and I switched to LED in the back. Got everything wired, put back together. I'm putting LEDs on the bike. There's some right there dangling. I got the wires ran. I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna do it. I got the small ones ran on the other side. It's gonna glow this area up. These are here gonna be underneath, gonna glow that. And I got them on each side of the tank to kind of glow the motor. So, and those will be on a remote so I can turn them off, turn them on as needed. Um, Spare tire off my truck, I took it off. I thought I was gonna need it, but I decided, well, let me try to fix it flat first. Fix it flat, cured the problem for now. Um, I don't have to worry about that no more because I end up buying new tires Black Friday. So these are, these are actually exactly what I have. I have bought Wrangler, Goodyear Wrangler ATSs, and that's what these are. And I didn't realize that until now, the exact same tire that I have. So that's what I have in my truck now, except for I got 20s on my truck. This is an 18, but it's a wide, a wider 18 where mine are lower or 20s. So this is designed as a spare to match the height of the truck. So I won't throw it off, but the rim itself, the tire is a different size. It's just a bulkier, thicker tire. Um, my refrigerator and it is plugged in and it works. I have nothing in it but a bag of ice in the freezer and a ham that I got from work. All my fishing stuff's over here. Lawnmower, I don't have a big yard, so I don't have a rider. I just got a uh, Murray 21 inch deck, uh, 450 mower. Picked up at Walmart, works. Weed eater works fine for what I need it. Runs on battery. Um, I can get all the weeding done and the blowing done that I need to get blowed after a mow on one battery. There's a leaf blower. Um, Harley flag I got with some Christmas money that my mom gave me. She gives me Christmas money every year so I can just kind of pick out what I want. Um, and I did so. Um, 
this year it was a little bit different. I didn't exactly get exactly what I wanted. I used some money for that and took some of the remaining money in my own money and put the rest towards that. I would have probably been able to almost get all of that with that. But my, uh, I lost my father um, the 5th of December and he was a veteran. So um, it, it's not something that Um, his wife was a junkie and she didn't do the, her best job of taking care of him. But I felt uh, that she did not deserve my dad's flag. So I, I, me and my brother handled everything. Um, she didn't help with anything. So I got him laid to rest properly, made sure everything got property. So. I uh I got his discharge paper. I needed that, so I just kept it and I framed it and kept it in my garage with uh, some little Harley motorcycles. I built this shelf. Um, I got my like my overalls that are in my truck. I keep them in the garage and stuff. I keep them in my truck during the winter because you never know when you're gonna have to get out in the snow and help somebody do something. But in the summer, normally I just like stack them up. I kind of want to hang them so they're hung up. So I gotta get a little bar hang here, but it should hold. It's not really strong, but I'm not gonna weigh it down with hundreds of items of clothing. Obviously it's not big enough for that, but I put like a coat or something up there. Ladder, shovel, my jack stand I got from Arbor Freight. Um, this, not this past Black Friday, but the Black Friday before it was on sale for a three ton rapid pump. Um, they're always running them on sale. So I don't know why I jumped right on it, but I needed one and I've used it. Comes in handy, brooms I need, other shovels I need. My toolbox, I got my Black Friday special from Ace, which is the top part and the bottom part. And I already had that, I already went over that and painted it and got stuff. But now what we're here for is, I did not go over my saw. Let me, let me save this and come back over here. There's the thermostat for that. This Budweiser was here when I bought the house. Um, I've been meaning to take it down. I've had people like, well, if you can give it to me, I'll buy it for, I'll give you 20 bucks for it. Cause it's, you know, it's big and huge. But the problem is, is that these are, this board is countersunk all the way through there. And the only way to get that off is to cut around it. And no one's going to want that. So I don't know if I can get these out because they're like stripped off. And this is way in there where they're really, really sunk in there. But the wiring is nothing. Cause it's just one plug, pull that out and get it out of the way, but I just leave it there. It don't bother me none. Calendar picked up at Napa yesterday. I had to get some stuff. I don't know what day it is. I picked this up for hundred bucks at uh, Lowe's. This Cobalt. It's not a big one, but it works for what I need it for. Seven, seven and a half inch, I believe. This is not safe at all because it's plugged in but I'm not touching nothing, seven, seven and a quarter inch blade. So that's fine. I mean, I don't need nothing. It does, it does all the swivels. Pick your degree, you got your slant lock back in there where you can tilt it from side to side. It's got all these uh, hand stops where you got uh, this right here. So you can hold it down, it goes from either side. You can mount it either side. You can bolt it down if you wanted to. <laughs> Um, that's about the only features. I got some stains. I use stained boards and they weren't dry already and I had to do some cuts. So I got some stains. On. Uh, it's got laser. That's important. Turn it on. There we go. It's got laser. That's important. Help you with your cutting. Just some tools I'm not using. Milwaukee, uh, stuff. Down here at the bottom of my toolbox, this is where the video really was for. And here I got my, uh, in this Craftsman bag, I got my angle grinder, um, my Craftsman screw gun. And upon receiving, it works and it does everything I use it for. I, right now the thing I've used it for has been working on my motorcycle for the screws so I don't put too much torque on it. Um, I bought an aftermarket battery for it. Um, 
I'm pretty pleased. It comes with a five-year warranty on it, so, you know, why not? These, when you buy these, they only come with like a five-year warranty. So the warranty for spare for batteries is the same. This is just not an actual Milwaukee. And I've heard that this brand right here is a good brand anyways. When you're going for aftermarket, there's a lot of different ones. But if you're going to get aftermarket batteries, go with the uh, Vanon. I think that's how you pronounce it. Vanon 12-volt um, system. I believe this is a, uh, was it? yes, 4-amp hour. You can get like a 6-amp hour too that way. I got the four amp power and this gives you a little bit more power and then I have the original Milwaukee uh, two amp um, after using it I'm thinking I probably would have been okay to get the impact this is not the original case neither I bought a case because I like all my tools power tools in some kind of cases and here is my Milwaukee impact and I also had bought, I bought a couple of batteries for it. When I got this, it didn't come with anything. So I'm like, ah, I'm just going to pick a battery up. So I'm like, well, I'll just pick up, I picked up a, uh, a regular Milwaukee 2 amp. And I'm like, I got this right here. That's going to drain that time I'm done working on my truck. So I need to get a spare battery. I'm like, I want something a little more beefier. So I wanted like a four amp or six amp or five amp. So the regular Milwaukee ones are pretty expensive. And that's when I found these brands right here. And I picked this up. So I originally got this first with that and bought that. Um, Cause it was cheap. And then I come across these and you know, they, they show the power charge and it's got the juice and stuff. So I bought a six amp. It's like $30. Jeez. I think that right there was like 30 bucks. So then that's one. And then later on, I got the impact driver that came with two, 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 two amps. And that's perfectly fine for that right there. And it comes with a, a dual charger and a hard case. The dual charger does the, uh, the big batteries and they'll do the small M12s. And then I just have my Milwaukee, or not my Milwaukee, but my Black & Decker Maxxis series drill. So eventually when this decides to give up the ghost, which may never be, cause it, yeah, it's brushed, it's not brushless. So the only problem I have is a battery and I only got one, but they sell these aftermarket too. And it's got a little light. And I got my charger for it down here. I don't have a case for that one. I'm not worried about it. Let's go over my tools. I really do like this. I wish I would have got maybe the five drawer, but it's a little bit more. But this is perfectly fine. And I actually, upon closer uh, tool tour, you're going to see that I'll... A five drawer would have done me no good anyways, except for the only thing is it's just a little bit taller and I believe it's just a little bit wider. Um, I might get a stand later on, the shelf that comes out and it'll be have to be mounted over here because I like the way it's going right here because I got my spindle casters right here so I can roll it out. Um, I see a lot of people modding, they'll get the other casters for the other side so that everything rotates. I got my uh, Black Friday Ace Hardware Special Screwdrivers, the, the Stanley. These are the USA ones. $3.99. They're normally like, I think they're normally like seven or eight bucks anyways, but four bucks for a set of screwdrivers, USA, Stanley. Lifetime warranty, you just gotta call the company. Um, I rarely ever have problems doing that with Stanley. You're not like always on hold. Um, snap on. We did a video about the return. I got my snap on. I need to get a, a thing for these. The three three eight drive uh, standard shorty impact set. So I need to get a little, a little shelf for those. My five dollar torque wrench half inch drive. Perfect. Um, I need to get metric half inch. If I do, I'm probably just gonna get the uh, impact so that way because I bought this for my truck. 
So I'm probably just gonna get the impact of those. Um, I have some, some of these, uh, the metric shorties and the half inch. Some, uh, most of them are Pittsburgh and Arbor Freight. I don't have any problem with Arbor Freight stuff. Um, three drive standard. I got some Craftsman. Actually, all this is Craftsman, except for this right here is an SK. It's the only one SK I have. Craftsman, um, here we got Craftsman. Nope, this is, yeah. These are Pittsburgh and Craftsman. There's Pittsburgh and some Craftsman and stuff. Down here, three drive, I got Craftsman. Now I got a lot of this, is it Craftsman Evo? Evolution kit, kind of a little tool kit. So I got a lot of this is, is that, and then a lot of stuff is like just old Craftsman I've had. Um, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh uh, three quarter drive, Pittsburgh Pro, it's pretty good stuff. And then the smaller stuff is Craftsman from that, from that set. You can buy Craftsman singles. As you need them and uh, just a flashlight a work flashlight this is from my job uh I got like two of them so i had to clean up my locker because they they fog every once in a while i clean up my locker and i bring everything home and start packing stuff away i'm like well i'll just keep that at the house until the one at work goes and take it back to work um breaker bar 8.99 special from marble freight it's on sale i don't ever use it but if I need one, I got one. That sucker goes way down in there. Um, some thread lock. Never know when you're going to need it. Arbor Freight Special Black Friday, $4.99. I think they're normally only $7.99. You got a bright or a dimmer one. Proceed, yeah. Bright, dimmer, and off. And it's magnetic. Some people like them, some people don't. $4.99. I'm not going to pay $7.99 for it. I'm gonna pick these up Black Friday, Arbor Freight, $1.99. Not a big deal, they're only like $2.99 anyways. Keys from my toolbox, this goes in the Snap-on or Craftsman, this goes to the, this cart. And I got some more sockets. Um, I have to do that, so it catches. There's people that mod those. O'Reilly parts magnets, I see a lot of people put magnets, putting parts up here. I don't have the need for that yet. Screwdriver drawer. Um, Craftsman nut driving end. Um, this is nice because you could put the socket on the back, kind of use it as extension if needed. On Christmas time, Ace had Craftsman screwdrivers on sale. You get the Phillips set for $3.99 and you get the flathead set for $3.99. If I knew they was going to do that, I would have never got the Stanley set. I would have waited, but it's easier to warranty out Craftsman than it is to warranty out those because I can take these back to the store where those I have to call. Sometimes I mail in, sometimes I don't. But I have a lot of crap, uh, Stanley anyways. Some of the stuff's pretty old and I haven't had no problems with it. I got rid of all my Arbor Freight except for one set that I kept and one Phillips and one flathead that I keep in my truck. Ratchets. I have two Stanley quarter inch drives. One of them is very, very stiff, and it'd be the other one because that one's too smooth. Yeah, it's this one right here. It's really stiff. This is the ratchet from that Craftsman Evolu set, and it is 72 tooth. Not a bad one. It's got comfort grip on there. It's nice. Um, that Pittsburgh cheap set, I got rid of all those sockets except for, I think, a couple extensions and the ratchet itself. It does what it needs to do. I don't really break out for any big jobs. Craftsman, 3-8 drive, standard. It's crappy. I don't like it. <laughs> um, I think it just needs greased. Pittsburgh, this is nice. It's almost like having a breaker bar. You got quarter inch on one side and 3 eighths on the other. Pull the lever and it does that. Um, comfort grip nice to have craftsman 
I believe this is 80 tooth or 90 tooth. It's really smooth and very, I really like this, the way it feels. Half inch drive. And then all my extensions, swivel extensions and stuff. That's that drawer. This drawer here, I got on my ratchets. Um, I have no idea what this is, but it's a one inch. I've had this thing for years, but it's the biggest one I got. Don't even have a name, just says trying on it. Probably would break first time I used it, not really. Um, the wrenches that came in that kit for that Craftsman. This is standard size, so I got a Pittsburgh standard set. I picked these up uh, the same day I bought this, $10. Gear wrench, five piece standard set for $10. At a tractor supply, they had two sets left, and I'm like, I thought about buying one and selling the other because I could make a little bit of money on it, but I'm like, ah, somebody else will need it. Got these, both ends, Craftsman. These are the old Craftsman's right here, USA Craftsman's. Some of those, some of my sockets, or some of them are old Craftsman, USA Craftsman, and some of them is the China stuff. Because I would buy singles, because I've been buying singles trying to fill my set up, and I'm like, well. So I got two of those, had those for years, had these for years. My brother got these for me. These are Pittsburgh Pro uh, metric swivel ratchet sockets, ratchets, uh, wrenches, sorry. Um, had those for years. Just picked these up around Christmas time. They were having them on $7.99. So instead of Pittsburgh Pro, I would like to have some better wrenches, but I don't use this stuff long enough. This stuff works, Craftsman. Evo set for the metric. They only give you a little bit. It works. Everything works fine for what I've been using for. In here, I got miscellaneous. This is a, a socket thing that I made with the rails and drilled them to a board. So this is for odds and ends, like my uh, um, just it's odds and ends of bits that I had bought over the years as I needed. Um, spark plug sockets there. Just duplicates that I have, little small oddball sizes that I had to keep because when you buy sockets in the set, they give you a lot more. Well, the rails only acknowledge certain sizes, so I keep the other ones down here. And then I picked this up last year, Black Friday. No, the Christmas thing at Arbor Freight for $7 because it was marked down. I'm like, that's worth seven bucks with all the stuff in there. And this is the other screwdriver set that I have from Arbor Freight that I never use. I just don't find the need for it. When I bought it, I'm like, well, that's a whole set right there. And it was only like eight bucks. And I think I had a coupon. Actually, I think it was on sale for six. And then I was like, that's worth that. That's it on that. So we'll come over here, start the bottom, work our way up. So I don't have to bend down later. Down here, I got my uh, Black & Decker circular saw, never hardly ever gets used. Drillmaster Arbor Freight hand sander. Um, I use a thing all the time, it still works fine. Um, I think if it breaks, goes down, I'm not gonna buy another one of those. I'm gonna buy one that swivels and rotates. This first drawer is just hammers, um, mallet from Arbor Freight. Ball peen hammer from Arbor Freight. I don't know where I picked this rubber mallet up at. I can't remember. Old tire jack pry bar. Um, this is a chisel. I don't use it as a chisel no more because it's all beat up. I use it for because uh, hitting on things. And I guess I still use it like a chisel, more like a chisel pry bar. What I use it for now. But the uh, I keep the cap on because there is some edge under still get you. Um, little, another pry bar. They run these type deals on, so I think this is an Arbor Freight one. Maybe not. It doesn't say. But you can get these Arbor Freight real cheap, and uh, they even had Stanley ones for three ninety nine. dollars um, Heat-resistant gloves. I got these from work, and I was using them. Again, I had to clear up my locker, and Got stuff out and just never took it back. Um, they're about worn anyways. They wouldn't do no good there. This hammer right here is about had it. It's actually a little bit loose. So I'm kind of thinking about getting me a new one. I have one in the house and I have one in the truck. I need one in the garage. I actually built and working on a tool kit for the garage or the house. Just have basic tools so I got to keep running the garage. Bit set that I bought and it also comes with the ratchet. 
that's nice to have. I've been using it on the bike. It's about all I've been using it on so far. Um, easy outset for screw extractor, I should say. E screw extractor set. Can't get it open. I've seen these at Home Depot. Seen these came to Home Depot for like eight bucks, and I'm like, well, that's kind of neat, but I ain't paying eight bucks for it. Got it on eBay, it's not a cheap set. This is kind of nice right here. Good over your bits. And I'm glad I opened this and seen it because I almost bought a set the other day. I'm glad I didn't. Then I got a little bit of Milwaukee. I got a bit set here for my screw gun. A few drill bits. That's it. Now we'll open this one right here. Odds and ends, glue gun, soldering iron. Hole saw for that. Uh, this is a laser level, a regular level, another level. 10 snips, tape measure. Got three tape measures, two cobalt. This is the garage. I got one in my truck. And I got a Pittsburgh I just picked up the other day for the house. That's what's in it. This door's old. This toolbox is old. Um, I don't have a lot in here because this is basically crescent wrench and vice grips. I have the vice grips in my garage right here. Pittsburgh. Some of these are older Pittsburghs. I think they're doing black and gray now. Um, I think you can still get the black Pittsburghs of these. Um, USA Craftsman, it's an older one. Kind of doesn't work half the time. I picked this up Christmas time at Ace for $3.99 for a Crescent brand. Why not? I have a uh, Stanley one I took in the house. I have a, another Craftsman or another Pittsburgh it's in my truck so this is fine for what I need for the garage files and punches Pittsburgh Harbor Freight I'm gonna get a bigger set of pliers uh, needle nose I have a small set this was a Pittsburgh 2 the it was like that, but it's old and stuff's moving and um, the Pittsburgh inks wore off. I can't remember where it was at. I think it was one of them. So I believe it was this side right here because all wore off. It's old, but they still work. Craftsman pliers. These are the USA ones. It's pretty good. Some 10 snips. I need to get a bigger set of 10 snips. I bought oil filter wrench for working on my bike. Uh, some Blue Point. Pliers, uh, some Nipix pliers, Cobra. Those are nice to have. Ew. Expensive though. Regular odds and ends, Allen's heads. I just need to get rid of all of them and get me all new match sets because I'm missing, missing a whole bunch. <laughs> I don't know how they get lost. Odds and ends, I get markers, uh, trying to erase markers, pins, punches. Tire depth gauge, uh, spark plug gauge. This drawer's uh, miscellaneous drill bits. Um, tap and die set and punches. And, and this drawer is empty. See? Empty drawer. This drawer, pretty much empty. All I got is the pick set that I just recently bought. And then I got this drawer here, which is my electrical set. Um, I got heat shrink tube, wiring stuff, diaphragms, uh, utility knives. These are from work. Again, clean up my locker and take it back. I need to, uh, I got, I still have one in my locker. So these, I need to take this back to Lowe's because if they warranty, because this thing is, sticks a lot. They won't. I've never done it. Now I'm never going to get shut. 
I'll fix it later. My last drawer. Um, crash or Kershaw pocket knife I keep on the side. Never know when you need it. Flashlights up here. Just notepad if I need to take notes. Whole entire drill bit set. Safety glasses, bit ends, electric knobs, brake caliper compressor. That is my toolbox tour and a tour of my garage. I hope you guys have liked this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content coming your way. And this is Christian Knife Guy signing off till next time. Stay safe and don't cut yourself, friends.